Yo guys, welcome to a new watch video today of Reason and Yannis. They placed second in the last duo cash up and look at their matches. So here, big kill win, decent first round, good third round and then win in the fourth round. So basically they were in the highest yield possible and still did an 11k win. And I will show you now everything what they did right in order to win the game. So make sure to stay till the end. This will actually be really helpful in case you want to qualify for the next duo cash up or the FNCS which is coming soon. I think I can tell you exactly the secrets behind their gameplay because I'm a well experienced IJ guys. I played many grand finals lobbies myself. I can tell you and give you guys a better understanding of the gameplay than you would get if you watch it yourself maybe. So first of all guys, the early game, I mean they landed the split top top right, which is kind of 50 spot. But you can already see guys which is Basically, really important that they have the best landings. I mean, Reason A has the best drops. Yannis drop is kind of meh. I mean, the others are better drops. But guys, if you land a 50 spot, make sure to practice your drops before any tournament. So then you can win, win every off-spawn fight. You see Reason got insta pump, while the others did not have anything. You can get a free kill. So now guys, and as you can see, there's still a different team at the spot. Basically stealing their loot. It's kind of scuffed, I think, in my opinion. That's why I don't really like this split. Because people can just uh, people can just steal your loot. But guys, we can take a look at how they approach the fight. Because obviously they're killing this team. You can see guys, smart play from them. Before they go to fight, I mean, they could insta-push. But they are looting all of their stuff because probably they have a loot advantage. Because all this loot here around is more loot than they have. So they loot first before they fight. So then they can go in the fight with an advantage of loot, heal and mats, of course. You can see the reason I got the gold pump from the holo chest. And now Yannis is going for an angle, guys. I think in early game, many teams don't have the best awareness. So it's really good to look for beams from the side. You can see here, they don't stay together. They're kind of split. But it's fine because this team... I mean, look at them. They don't even know that... Yannis and Reason will push them really soon. So now you can see Yannis sneaked up from behind. Yeah. You can see Yannis sneaked up from behind, actually got a beam while this guy here is farming. And now he thinks, okay, enemy pushed me from this side. But Reason comes from the other side. And gets a nice beam as well. I think he could have even gotten the kill. I mean, the guy was only 100 HP. But still, you can see. This team is kind of split air mix there. His mate is just running. It's not even at his mate. And now they just spray the other mate from both sides. And they are really good under pressure. And you can see they don't have any space, uh, any space the other team. Just because the pressure is so much. They only have basically like these two boxes. And here this box, it's, I mean it's already kind of reason APs. So don't give enemies a lot of space, so then you can finish up the fight quicker than normally. You can see there's still play from both sides. So there's basically nowhere for the team inside to expand to. But of course, guys, when you do this, you need to watch out they don't get pieced. So reason A gets, yeah, gets caught la lacking and gets a big hit. And the honest set, actually two, bro, this guy is one me doing them. Yeah, you always need to have awareness so no one is running out. And now, I mean, Yannis gets 2v1, that's kind of bad. Part the reason he comes from behind. But then also dies. Because he didn't heal, I mean, he wants to help Yannis. That's kind of disadvantage if something like this happens to you. And you're like pressuring from both angles. One of the mates can get 2v1 kind of quick if they get a big hit already. So now Yannis had a solo. In a 1v1, it's kinda hard. I mean, EMX has way more HP. And even a different team is shooting. But I mean, guys, they're still winning the game. A different team is flying in. And EMX there did a 2v1. What the fuck? That's kinda crazy. So Yannis sees this. EMX there killed two guys. So also, guys, when you fight, you can look at the kill feed. The kill feed can give you like hints in case if someone is knocked or if uh, there's anyone fighting at your drop spot. Maybe you already know teams who's landing at the same drop spot. So then you can keep an eye on the kill feed. And 
It's also good if you want to a third party, you can look at the kill feed, then check if maybe one of the if one of the guys from the duos already died, and then get the best timing to third party in the mid-game fights. So now Giannis goes for the 1v1, but he decided to actually... I mean, he wants to run away, but it's not possible right now. He needs to fight this, in my opinion. I mean, yeah, this fight's kind of scuffed, guys. I mean, he still needs to reboot, but I mean, it's cash up opens. So in opens, you can stay in zone for a lot of times. Without any bigger risk, also because some switch not that high. I mean, they have basically not much search because I mean, the reason they have the three kills. But guys, remember, if someone dies and gets rebooted, all their search gone. So then you need new new search. This can be really important for FNCS if you think you have maybe like four kills, but one of your mates got rebooted, who got most of the damage, then you could still be below search. Oh yeah, Yannis said keeps fighting. It's a different team, that's kind of fucked. The other guy wants to pressure with the reboot then. Yannis stops this. Let's see how we can kill EMX I right now. Okay, <laughs> he didn't know Yannis had the floor buff. Now guys, you can actually see, I mean, zone is pretty far, but as I said, you can stay in storm. You see, they don't really hesitate to go into zone really quick. They just stay in zone and farm some metal. Because they know metal is kind of rare. There probably won't be any... There won't be any second opportunity for them to farm their metal, because as soon as they go in zone, people will attack them. And then they can more... Can more likely farm wood and brick. So I try to get some metal in, then rotate, farm some more mats on the way. And now use the pet. But you see guys, they didn't go instantly in zone, I mean they pelt from here. Zone is there, they still went into the jungle. Just to get some extra loot, because I mean, look at their loot. Kayanis actually has really good loot, but three mat kits, reason ace loot is kinda... It's not the best, guys. It's not game-winning loot, so they want to go for more loot. And also another advantage of the jungle, guys. In case you stay in storm, you can go into the jungle and then take the jungle plants, which give you 25 HP. I mean, here you can see reason ace uses them. Gets free HP back and also the shield. And you can obviously use the mats. So you can rotate way faster. And the rifts. I mean, Yannis used the rift now. That's good map awareness, guys. You should know maybe some rifts in the jungle which are close to your drop spots. There are a few of them. And now they use the pet at Brutal. So you can see they basically only fly at this point of the game because it's just way faster. And now they get into zone. And then, guys, another one more good thing you can see here. They get into zone. Obviously, they got kind of loot again, but they still have don't have the best loot. But you can see here, they see the old box, like some metal boxes, which is always a hint that there was a cage earlier. So then they go to the cage and look for spare loot. And it actually worked. I mean, reason they got a big, I think Giannis got also a big, and they got six minis again. That's basically the most important thing here. And oftentimes it's like this, like two metal boxes, they're empty, and then in the mid game you can get spare loot because people had to create there. You can see here once again it's the same pattern basically. The same pattern, there are like four metal boxes, reason they know is okay, there probably was a cage opened, because then they built with metal because they have spare metal from the cage. And here you can see two bigs, even spare metal reason they can use. And more minis. A blue pump, but I mean they have purple pump now. But could also be good. So now, just because they got this metal, you can see. Yannis have metal. And reason A. And reason A too. So 
So now when it comes to mid-game rotations, you can see guys, the zone pulls far and far again. That's not the best for them. We can see how they approach the rotation. First of all, guys, it's interesting. They scout a lot. They don't only look, they look to the right side, scout on the right side, but also scout on the left side, basically scout everywhere to get the best rotation possible. And now you can see Yannis has scouted. Okay, right side is pretty free. So they run over there. Also, guys, maybe you were thinking like, okay, left side, it's kind of dead side. Maybe you should have go there. But you need to also look at the land. So basically, what's the point of left side? Left side, there's this beach. And then, of course, the ocean where you can maybe swim. But, but the point is, I'm trying to make here, guys, on the left side, you'll be really open to anyone who can shoot you. So here you need to waste a lot of materials. I mean, on the beach, there's no really cover. In the sea, there's no cover as well. And everyone who is in zone, I mean, you can see in zone, there are a lot of hills. So people will box up on the hills. Then they can attack you and you need to waste a lot of mats. Comparison, guys, now to the right side, which is the decision Yannis set made. You can see there are like these trees which give them cover. There's the house which gives them cover. And now if they keep running, they even have the hill kind of as cover. You can see they drop down. And now they are in like the in the shadow of the hill basically. So then they box up. Nice thing you could just see at the other set, guys. They were boxed on edge, and you can see he spread the brick wall just to check if there's a team still inside. Oftentimes when you rotate, guys, maybe the team's next to you already rotated and you don't even notice it. So just spraying the wall can help to see you if there's still a team. Because obviously if the team next to you already rotates, you should definitely also rotate. So you're not too late and get told by the other teams. So here, okay, the pull zone is actually kind of lucky. So, and now, guys, zone pulls north, I mean, yeah, northwest, kind of. So, this is basically the dead side of the zone. You could see the zone was like this. If you look at my mouse, if you look at my mouse course here, it was like this. And this part here was all in zone. So, basically, the new zone pulls through the part, which was just in zone a few minutes ago. And this means now, for Yannis and Reason, they know it in their head that on this side of the zone is obviously no enemy because it was just in zone. And they can rotate pretty free. Without basically any fear that they could get hold. Because none of the teams is in zone yet. I mean, one team already got in zone. But I mean, one team, guys, in this big zone. Doesn't matter. Most of the teams are still stuck on the south side. Boxed up next to each other. You can see, okay, they get shot once. I mean, basically a free rotation without using any material. And you can also see, guys. Yannis said they didn't just run straight into zone. So you could think like, okay, they run from the deer. And then they would box up like here maybe at the tree. Maybe you would have done it. You can see they try to go to an edge side of the zone. So they're right next to the right next to the zone. Just so they can claim some space for themselves. Because if you think now all the other teams will rotate after them. Okay, where they will box. I mean their rotation is kind of scuffed because there are so many people on like small space. So they will all go straight in, into the zone. And then box up on edge also because they are not so smart and don't watch these videos. And then, guys, these people box up next to each other all here on the side. And now, Yannis set is not within these boxes, basically. And then the next rotation will be way easier. Because they don't have so many teams boxed up around them. So I will show you now. Okay, maybe do go... Oh, what happened here? They get prepared, whatever. Yeah, happens. You need to have good awareness. So you can see now, guys, just what I said... Just what I said, guys, all these teams voted in. And they're boxed up here on this side of zone, just an edge. I mean, this is basically the spot where Yannis could also build in if they want to rotate like the to the closest side, to the closest space possible. But obviously, if you box up like here now, next to, yeah, one, two, three, four teams or five teams, the next rotation would be way harder because they can pump you, they can shoot you. And let's say the zone pulls like far again, which is basically the worst case scenario. 
Now Yannis said could just rotate pretty free because I mean it's like this team who can shoot them, but not really any other team which blocks their way to rotate. I mean in this case the zone pulls back, so it would have been fine if, if they stayed there. But obviously, guys, you can never know where the next zone pulls, and you should be prepared for the worst. And not just hope, okay, zone will pull to me, hopefully, hopefully. That's not how the game works. Now I need to run back, I mean. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's not. They can easily run back, they use the old builds. You can see also, there was like the one team next to them. They saw, okay, the one team next to them rotates already, and now they reuse basically their rotation. So you can see this team, they got shot a lot. I mean, he's minus 6 HP now. And they built many builds. You can see they built here in wood. And the set follows the rotation. So he does not need to build. He can just use their own builds. Then make two metal boxes in zone and they're full chilling. So next move zone pulls far. Next move zone, guys, it's dead set again. The same thing as I just explained uh, like two zones earlier. You can see basically, I mean, okay, on the map's kind of hard to see. Look bottom right, guys. You can see this side was just in zone, or was like more in zone than the other side. You can see all the guys already boxed up on edge because they don't go really go in that deep. So Yannis said knows already in his head, okay, here on this side of the zone, ahead of the moving zone, where you should be in the first moving zone, for sure. There won't be a lot of teams. So this means basically that he could rotate kind of early. Okay, he doesn't do it. In my opinion, he should have went like five seconds already ago. But he has the right side basically claimed. That's also an advantage if you are not like on the main side where most of the teams are. You can claim basically your own side of the moving zone. And look, instead of rotating in the middle like this team does, like this team does, they stay on the edge so they can't get shot. I mean, it's basically pretty simple, guys. We take a look at the map. Okay, you understand the reason they are on the right side? So people can shoot them from the left side. I mean, Condixi is in the middle, so people can shoot them from the left side and from the right side. And I mean, yeah, that's obviously worse than people only shooting from one side. So you can see here, they only need to block their back, basically. Because on the other side is the zone, and from the zone no one shoots. Now they're in zone. Oh, that was nearly a piece. So, I mean, they still have good mats. They look for a refresh now. You should always look for a refresh if there's a free one. But they don't need to stress because, I mean, 1,000 mats and 600 mats, that's still pretty good for the end of first moving zone. Good awareness that someone sneaked in their tarp, guys. Make sure to make, like, these walls behind and don't leave your tarp open. Okay, so now next zone. Pulls actually back. That's like the best case scenario for Yannis set. Because I mean, they can reuse their old tarp now. Okay, I see, see. I mean, they don't drop down all the way to low ground to their old builds. Which I would have maybe done, to be honest. Instead of staying on the mid ground layer, guys. Metal Layer tried to look for a refresh. This was pretty good from reason A. We can watch it back. So you could see, guys. First of all, they're holding these ones to get a refresh. But, I mean, if you only spay people, the possibility of getting a refresh is kind of low. Because, obviously, even if they kill these guys now, to get the loot and everything will be much harder than if you just kill someone with the pump in the box fight. Now you can see Yannis has voltage and Reason A is right behind. He doesn't, I mean, he immediately stopped shooting and follows his IGL. And now he sees, okay, this guy's top on the layer. And by accident, probably, they went onto the wall of Yannis set because Yannis set was a few seconds earlier. And Reason A uses this to get a free shot on the guy who just wants to replace the wall. I mean, yeah, now it's a good piece control. They also go for the second guy, and you can see, Reason A wanted to jump in, but then pumped the guy and went a step back, guys. So if you're like 2v1 in this uh, scenario, don't go too close to the enemy, because, I mean, if Reason A would have just run into the enemy, try to kill the solo as well, 
there has a possibility of him getting one pumped. So if you stand like one meter next to the enemy, it's kind of easy to get one pumped. And it's more likely to happen than if you stay like one box away. And obviously, I mean, the refresh can be as good as it is. But if Reason A dies now and the other sets the solo, they definitely won't win the game because it's only top 15 at the moment. So now zone pulls, yeah, basically back or far, you could say however you want. In comparison to the last zone, pulls far. So there is still up on the second high, uh, second high ground layer in mid ground. And now guys, they just got to refresh, so basically this gives them a possibility to look for high ground for example. Because they probably have more mats than the average people in the lobby now. So that's probably, I mean yeah, you could see reason they already looking up for high ground. Because they know, okay, I got a refresh. I don't need to worry about another refresh. Probably these guys in high ground is already like third moving. They didn't really get the best refresh. I mean, you could see, okay, actually it's zero builds and eight builds. Because obviously on high ground, it's yeah, it's harder to get a refresh on the mid ground. And then instead of a really good refresh. And now 900 builds, 600 builds. They see, okay, high ground is only connected on wood. If high ground is only connected on wood, guys, this is also an indicator that high ground has low mats. Or, yeah, that high ground has low mats. There's no ore. Because otherwise, I mean, they would build like in hard mats or connect better. So this use them to spray them out and then crank up from behind. Also important guys that they don't crank up into the direction of the high ground. I mean because let's say if you build up like here, you think okay I built up and get ahead at the same time. But then obviously the guys on high ground could beam them. Now Yannis set builds up on the side and you can see reason A builds up full in zone. So the possibility of them getting shot by the high ground team is yeah, it's just uh, it's lower. You see, actually, nice play. They didn't go up on the same side. That's also important. Yeah, and Seth went up basically on the right side. The reason A from behind. And I mean, they do on high ground only focus on the other sets. So now reason A can get a free beam from behind. But I mean, this only is possible because he has to slurp, guys. I think if you don't have any white heals, that's probably not the best play because reason A tanks a lot of zone here. But I mean, he, uh, he heals it back again. So it doesn't really matter. And now they see, okay, the team on high ground did, uh, doesn't have the best builds because they dropped down. The reason they even knocked one. Now they are on high ground, guys, with still 400 mats and 300 mats. Which is, yeah, which is enough to win the game because already last moving zone now. You can see they keep applying pressure to the teams below them. Pretty simple stuff. And the set even drops down a bit. I mean, yeah, I think that's kind of risky, but maybe he wants to get some kills. Now it's top three, guys. Also, when you're on high ground, make sure to look like the teams. Do like one quick tap to the map and see like what top is it. Just to then maybe know if there's still a duo alive. Because obviously, if there's still a duo alive, that's basically the only danger. The only danger of you. Why you could lose the game. So then you should definitely focus the duo. So now in this case you can see, okay, one solo, one duo. I don't know if they knew it in-game. Probably they did. So now, okay, there's still a full duo we need to basically kill. I mean, the solo kind of empties it out now. And the set goes for a nice timing shot, but uh, it was not the best. But the reason I have the heal off, guys, this kind of good. You see, he has the heal off, and now he wins the game. Just because heal off this season is not that much, but I mean, if you would have no heal off and they drop down together, they probably would have still won the game. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and, and comment down below if you find this video helpful, guys. I post these videos every Thursday. You can also let me know in the comments down below which topics or which teams I should watch for you next. And then guys, see you in the next video.